And I don't say this lightly. We remain radically loving, but we don't affirm sin. God calls Christians to radically love people and point them towards Jesus so they can receive his grace. Yet grace gives us a way out of our sin and a way to overcome our sin, not an excuse to remain in our sin. So what does this look like? How do we live in such a way where we are radically loving, but we're not affirming? I think it first starts when we learn how to be radically loving towards others in spite of their sin. We get over ourselves a little bit and we say, I might not like what they're doing, but how can I be radically loving towards them? That, that we don't give safe harbor for sin, but we give safe harbor for people struggling with sin, trying to overcome it. And while they do, we point them to Jesus. Did you know that you didn't die to save people from their sin? I didn't die to save people from sin. And I don't have the power to save their soul. You know who does? Jesus. And so our job is to point people to Jesus.